Now we are going to cover the key development transaction in S4HANA. So SAP workflow development transaction codes, these are the transaction codes that is delivered in S4HANA brand new that is not in ECC6. The first important transaction is SWDD underscore activate. So this activates the workflow scenario as we have covered workflow scenario is the brand new thing that is available in S4 HANA. The next one we have is SWDD underscore display which tells the workflow builder in display mode. The, the next one is SWDD underscore replicate replicates from the transport version. So if you uh, if you have a uh, workflow changes and you have updated with the new version from the transport it will generate a new version which is pretty slick uh, then the next one which is the most important is swdd underscore scenario this is the flexible workflow scenario editor where we can build a bunch of uh, steps a uh, bunch of approvals uh, so that they can be used across by the business without the help of any it uh, then the SWF process admin that's a scenario administration because you want you you might have 30 or 40 scenarios that you have defined but the client wants to use only two or three so they can they can do the administration from this now these the below three transaction codes were part of the development phase but it's not really uh, um, it's there but it's probably going to be used in future in S4 HANA release probably in 19 or 20. Uh, for now, there is no real use for this for this uh, three transaction codes. Now, this is the transaction code SWDD underscore activate. If you see here, here you can define the workflow template that you want to, and this is the scenario only. And here you can version, you can uh, select the version that you want to activate. The second one is SWDD underscore display where you display what are the transaction codes uh, means uh, to display the workflow template. Okay, before it used to be SWDD and uh, there was issues where the SWDD used to open in Genuine and people used to make mistakes. So that's why they built, built this new transaction SWDD underscore display. This is only for display. It's similar to like PFTC where you create the workflow template and then they came with PFTC underscore DIS for display uh, option then is the swdd underscore replicate so if you see here you can put the workflow definition and it will create the uh, version based on the transports now the next one is the flexible workflow editor this is the most important transactions there for development that has been delivered and here you can see you can create a flexible block and you can and we, we are going to discuss this more in details in the system so here if you see here you can define the classes the type of action and here you can give conditions agent rules by define by default they, they define three agents manager uh, manager is one of them and and uh, and the initiator and so on uh, so it's pretty slick uh, then is the process admin where we have already defined all the scenarios and you want to activate based on it. So if you see you have the active buttons and, and so on and so forth. And then after this is the utility, uh, UTL ALV. So this is also something that we can be used.